Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Dungeons & Dragons Tactics. I'm your host, the Game of Darius. Last we left off, we had successfully saved the witch that was over in past the spider spike from a bunch of werewolves. Why will werewolves? I, I don't know. I don't got any questions for that, answers for that one. But we do know that Toldorn here is the hiding place of some sort of vampire. And we also have to get some answers about some sort of draconic name. I already read the thing before, but there it is again. It's from Kegro. Ka Kaigro. Ka K. I'm gonna go Kaigro. I'm also just gonna say Svern from now on. Adventure in the temple. Search for information about Atherorn at the ruined temple. Now believed to be the lair of a vampire lord. Great! So we're gonna definitely want the paladin for this party. I mean, not that we have an option. <laughs> we have only the five characters. Besides Darius, of course. So This is a weird layout. Oh, there's a treasure chest right there. Okay, Darius, Spadunkus, Talos. Now that's... Eh, eh. Okay, that was weird. Fine. The witch said there were vampires here. Shh. Children of darkness have sharp ears. I and mean, so do elves. Anyways. There's a chest. It has 19 gold in it. This chest also has some masterwork arrows and a masterwork heavy steel shield. Don't think anyone can actually make any use of that, but okay. Let's go. You take the steel shield. And you go ahead and take the arrows. Mister, I need to take arrows because I'm using arrows. This is a nice wide open area. I don't trust it. Oh, there's actually several treasure chests just laying around. Hmm. I feel like this is a trick. Yeah, this is, this is definitely like one of those boss encounter sort of levels, isn't it? All right, time for some pre-game buff. Get you, new over here. Magic, cat grace. Have the grace of a cat, preferably one of a tiger variety. Now, I'm gonna bowl strength on Spadunkus and. Darius. Yeah, that seems about fair. Boop. So one of the things too, sadly, about giving Darius the great sword is the fact that it is a little bit punier because of his small size. Well it's not the size of the weapon, it's how you wield it. That's at least what we constantly tell ourselves every damn day. So I'm going to shield, divine face. Oh my lord, there's just a lot of stuff to cast. Sorry, divine favor. Here's the pre-buff show. Let's see. Give divine favor. I don't really cast divine favor as a waste of a turn. Well, we'll have him cast heroism. No, wait. How many castings do we have? Okay, two. We'll have heroism on river. Um, probably should have something along the lines of. Shield of Faith, that is what I meant to cast. I mean, I'm going to cast this on River and on Darius. See, now they're the most front liney of the two, and I'm not sure how much that would actually benefit. Uh, words, things, stuff. Shield of Faith. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the vampire is right inside that little building there, like. 
Hey God, what's taking those assholes so long? That said... Invisibility! I don't know if they make it so as it's pos- it's uh... How they make it in this game. But... How undead are supposed to work in 3.5 is that they are immune to sneak attacks as well as to oh, vampire spawn. But they don't see us. They are immune to sneak attacks as well as to critical attack critical hits. Ooh, that is a lot of vampires. Okay. Alright. Not yet. Okay, there's two vampires. A vampire spawn and a vampire lord at the least. I don't know what kind of range that they got going on though. Bardic music. They gonna come around? No? Alright. Ah, damn it. I need one additional turn just so I can have Pitt do his ever so wondrous duty. That was not what I was hoping for you to do there, Pitt. I meant to have you delay, not ready. Well, let's poke Darius's head out from around the corner and see what the hell that they got. I'm hoping not fireballs. If it's fireballs, that's gonna hurt. One of the other annoying things about vampires is that I'm pretty sure they have a rather high resistance to a lot of crap. Besides just damage reduction. There was one going. Yep, kind of figured that they were going to go for... Hi. We're going to move. Don't mind me. Ooh, I really hope that she doesn't end up getting spotted here. Unless invisibility just makes it so as you don't get spotted, period. That will be wondrous. Alright, Amrod. I would imagine that a, this many vampires is going to be a right pain in the ass. I What I could do... Is cast cure spells offensively. But I'm not sure how good of an idea that would be in the end. Alright, let's... Let's do this on Amrod, because I'm pretty sure his constitution is shite. Vampire gonna run on up to Amrod. Oof. Tried to freaking power fist him into the ground. Okay. That's a, that's a lucky shot. Okay. You know, <laughs> I've already had it up to here with vampires. Y you can't tell, but I was holding my hand above my eyes. I've already had it up to there with vampires, so, um, let's check their immunity to fire. I get, I get any of them? Eh? They move out of the thing? How much damage you take? One of them died. <laughs> That's all I ask for. All right. If I move up behind him, I'll flank him. Might as well. And then power attack. Dang it. So... I'm wondering how much of a badass I should make Ta Talos be right about now. Did I not... Ah, dang it. I canceled out of it, so that's why... Alright. Summon monster. Why not? Is the summon monster spell gonna work this time? No, it does. Cool. So this time we got ourselves a giant ass. Ooh. We got ourselves a giant ass distraction. That's what we got. Hey, <laughs> hey. Now, excuse me while I smite the. E oh, wait, no. 
I shouldn't smite evil here, because if I do, that's wasted against the uh, vampire lord. Um, full attack. Oh, that's an rod. Whew. Well, I'm glad they make it so as that's a thing you can avoid doing. All right. Vampire spawns, they're nothing. We can handle vampire spawns easy. I'm just worried about accidentally getting River killed over here. Silver arrow, silver bolts, scroll of inflicts. Nice, 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 nice. And yes, I am having her just kind of... I am having her just kind of running around the place and hoping that I can kill everything in sight. Oh, you continue to be a distraction. Actually, you don't have web? How do you not have web? Ugh. Lame. All right. Move you up some. Uh, they are undead, so they're immune to sleep. So the spawn has 15. The vampire itself has 25. Now, just because they're immune to sneak attacks does not mean that they're immune... Or, they're immune to sneak attack damage does not mean that they are immune to being flanked. They can be flanked. Or, you know, actually snuck up upon. Now, if I shout this way, I would just get that one vampire. Works for me. Getting all disturbed up in here. Ah, oh, but he made this save. Charge. I'd rather charge the other one. What the hell's with this line? Uh, we're gonna move. The next round we'll probably try to charge the other vampire. So here's the thing with vampires, is that their initial biting thing or not the biting. Any weapon attacks that they do do not actually inflict any terrible thing beyond, you know, just oh, I'm a vampire and I'm hitting you with a weapon. But and this is a big but, so it cannot lie. The worst thing about them is when they go to use their bite. And I don't know whether or not they got bite in this or not. But pretty much what it is is that when they go to bite and they hit, they drain constitution. And constitution is life, if you'll remember. It is HP. Why can I not move there? Alright. No, not attack. Just want you to move. Because we want that sweet, sweet, filthy loot. Man, he's really going to town on that spider. I do not like that spider. I mean, it is actually far, far worse when it comes to vampires in second edition, or so I've been told. But, you know, that's the thing when it comes to the varying vampires of various editions. Nice attack. Too bad it was reduced, but still, pretty nice. So, I'm not too afraid of anyone getting hit with this fireball. <laughs> yeah. Wait. The giant spider in his freaking large-ass range. Ugh. Mmm. Mm. Okay. Still mildly pissed. But regardless. Damn, that was a good hit. Okay. So. Goddamn giant spider. I'm trying to think of what to do. I should have Talos go up here just for distractions' sake, I guess. 
kind of wish that vampire lord wasn't chilling out right there. Oh, Jesus, that hurt. All right. Let's finish off this vampire as quick as possible with a smite. Mmm. Sure. All right. We want to... Why can't I open this chest? Do I have to be off the stairs to move to open the chest? Does the chest actually require me to, you know what? I'll wait. I'm patient. Holy crap, he managed to punch me. And apparently vampires do have regeneration in this. Don't remember if they did in the core tabletop, but I know nothing, apparently. So I could hit that guy, and I could get really lucky. But let's go for the Vampire Lord. Maybe I'll get a critical and stick him through the heart. Damn, that did a lot of damage. Okay. Damn. I was kind of hoping that I could do a lightning bolt, hit this guy, and it would continue on to hit the his boss. <sighs> Guess that's not gonna be a thing today. Nah, he's gonna use a potion. Cause that spell hurt. I also hit my freaking buffer thing. I know the word for it, I swear. If I were to move up here first. I I know that Spadonkus has the freaking vampire over there so oh that's right since Talos is level 8 now his base attack bonus is 6 which means he gets a second attack let's move him here just in case what's he doing that's a fireball isn't it he really does not like pit mr. vampire could you just die please all right, what do we got? Uh, composite longbow S2? What? Oh, with a strength of two. Ooh, that's actually pretty good. Too bad Spadonkus is uh, sucky when it comes to that. Now well, she'll take everything. And you know what? I'm kind of tempted to test out just how just what they did to the possibility of an undead being snuck attacked. That is not even the right word for it. I know. I don't care. Now let's go ahead and cast some healing. Because I don't want Pit to die. Not today. Or ever, really. Um... Move him just a little bit more out of the dude's range, and then he's going to use another potion. If he's got him, he doesn't got him. He's out of potions. Balls. Alright, no, that's fine. It's cool. It's cool. Uh, we just need to get within threatening range of a vampire. I can't believe this is a thing I'm doing today. Well, he does seem to be a mage. For being a vampire lord, he seems to be more magey than he is about anything else. We'll have Talos come down here to help Pit. Maybe help Amrod too. Because that, that magic missile nearly killed him. <sighs> Amrod nearly dying to magic missiles. Why am I not too terribly surprised? Go away, random pop-up thing. So I'm going to beg to the gods that this vampire doesn't have some sort of thing like life sense or something. You guys saw that additional vampire, right? I saw the additional vampire and I saw he got really worried for my rogue. Let's 
fine. It's cool. It's okay, River. Uh. All right. I'm kind of concerned about that vampire. Less about the Lord and more about the one that was hiding right there. But screw it. Yeah. All right. There. Hide failed. That's fine. Yes. Flanked. 26 damage. Ouch. Mostly on his part, of course. Right, who is... Amrod's pretty... Eh. Let's go to heal my buddy here, though. Let's heal him with, uh... I think, I think only... Yeah, that should do the trick. You know, I was a little bit more afraid of this vampire lord, but then again... Uh... I'm not sure what you did, but it missed. I'm thankful for it missing. Alright. I'm gonna be a stupid and open the door. I'm also gonna look inside. Oh, oh. Okay. That looks worse than I think it's going to be. So, uh... Let's, let's see if we can't end her turn. And what I'm thinking is that I shall have her... do stuff. Yeah. <laughs> That's descriptive, Dar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have her chill out for just a hot second see if I can't flank okay so yeah I I had doubted that that was going to be it for that little part mostly chilling out if we get to about here I think no one else is going to bother us yet I ain't gonna rest. It'd be a perfectly bad waste of spells, I know it. Probably should have seen about trying to get everyone else up here too. Alright. The rogue isn't currently invisible anyway, so it's not like anyone's gonna see her. I think that's one of the reasons why they haven't initiated anything okay also that vampire lord was worth 700 experience don't think I didn't notice that he was worth a healthy chunk of the XP's alright you let's see what's in these chests first move step Open chest. So she's got a masterwork greatsword and a potion of faith plus two. While he has a light steel shield plus one called axe grinder, oil of flame arrow, and a scroll of bear's endurance. Uh, I'm gonna have Spadunkus take this stuff. And then I'm going to have, I want to say, Talos take the rest. Yeah, pick it all up. Cool. So now I got to worry about what the hell is in this, in the middle of this here temple. Great. I could just have River. Oh yeah, this place is bigger than I thought it was going to be. I could just have River all invisible and shit move around the side, but I'm going to save before doing so and call an episode. When we return, in adventure, yes, when we return, we have the rest of Toldorn to explore, which, now that I think about it, Toldorn, Toldorn or rather, 
kind of sounds a little like a Thororn, which means it's probably also draconically based. Yay. But at least we're dealing with undead. Boo. So thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers.